Yo, 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 what's up guys, Chris Tips one how's everyone doing? Welcome to Live Vibe 101, or is it 101? Anyways, last night was a fantastic Live Vibe 100, guys. I want to appreciate everyone that tuned in. I still haven't really processed it. I've been busy all freaking day nursing a hangover. Yes, I am hungover after three beers. Woke up with the biggest freaking migraine. Popped some freaking Advil, and I had to, I had to continue on through the day, man. And I did it. Now we're back today. Rear. <laughs> I don't know exactly how long it's been. It's been at least eight years for sure since I've had Copenhagen. If you guys don't know, back in the day when the dip community was large and prosperous, UST, copyright stroke, my videos, Outlaw, and Mudjug One's videos, Darcy's videos. And ever since then, it's been an uh, uphill battle. After you get a copyright strike on your, on your channel, your, your videos don't really get recommended. So I, I didn't swore an oath. I just was like, hey, I'm not going to give these guys any more publicity. Because once you guys really think about it, when we're doing reviews of these products and they go out of the way to, you know, F up your freaking channel. Free publicity? You're doing that? Anyways, that was a long time ago. But since then, I think I've tried Copenhagen Mint since those days. And Jeff is a big Cope. Jeff was a big Copenhagen extra long cut guy. And I remember taking a couple pinches from him. But I never, I was never really, I mean, I dipped this back in the day, especially when it got released. You guys, if you guys don't know, Copenhagen Wintergreen was released in 2009. So, and that was during the, the, the rise of the dipping community. But I was never a big fan of this wintergreen because I was a grizzly guy. I, I, I was a grizzly guy because it's too sweet. So we're going to see. My taste buds have been changing throughout the years. I've dipped Longhorn, Timberwolf, Red Seal, Stokers. Some of these dips, not Stokers, but some of these dips are like, oh, it's horrible, horrible. So we're going to see what Copenhagen wintergreen tastes like in 2024. In my opinion, what I think it's going to taste like. So other than that, today we're going to play a game of deal or no deal. And then afterwards, we're going to vibe out and play Would You Rather and hang out to close out Live Vibe 101. Everyone, yesterday's Live Vibe, <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm kind of embarrassed because I did get a little slosh. But just like someone said in the comments last night, I was one eye willing it. I was completely shocked how I, I was seeing freaking double, dude. Off of three beers. Granted, there were Space Dust and a Voodoo, both about 9% alcohol. That's probably like having probably a six pack or a nine pack of beer. But regardless, that happened the way it was supposed to happen last night. And um, I learned a lot from last night. I've learned that you don't need alcohol, my friend. Stick to the Eddies. That's what I've learned. That's what I've learned. If you're going to enjoy a beer, enjoy a crisp Modelo, a Corona, something exotic where I can make a chilada, a michelada, put something with lime. But uh, my body did not respond well with it. It did not. So today, as I'm loading this lip, we're going to run this right here. I want to know if you had to choose one Copenhagen product for the rest of your life or for life, what would it be? Long cut, straight, natty, mint, black. But be, be before we do that, here we go. These are this is Copenhagen's website. I hate doing this, but as a professional dip reviewer, you guys know the products that I review. I'd like to show off a little bit of the website. And basically, this is freshcope.com since 1822. And of course, this is their staple. This is their most popular flavor right here. And man. Does what he says. Deserves a dip that does, that does the same. It's very simple. They actually have a rewards now program. But uh, they have a brief history. We'll quickly go by it. Before the electric light bulb and paved roads, George Wayman was making Copenhagen. He took everything he knew about tobacco, opened up a shop in Pittsburgh, and made the most legendary snuff in American history. Established 1822. I do know that um, Copenhagen, guys, it's... it's it's freaking Copenhagen, dude. What can you say? They do have some good products out there. Um, 
And it is one of the OGs, dude. It is one of the OGs. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, but I just want to give you a little overall view. I love how they have a history there. Again, because they did what they did to me, I'm not gonna give them too much time here. But here are the products. Black fine cut. Holy shit, they make a fine cut now? I did not know that. Snuff, Cope LC. Extra long cut, wintergreen, smooth Copenhagen. Oh, I didn't add that to that list. Eh, if you pick smooth Copenhagen, I'm gonna put you down for wintergreen. Southern blend, and the packs. I haven't tried the packs yet. So, right now, let me know. If you, if you could only dip one Copenhagen product for the rest of your life, what would it be? Long cut straight, natty. The ELC in the bottom is extra long cut. Mint, coat black. Wintergreen, snuff, packs. Oh, I didn't add in. Let's put uh, Southern Blend up here, guys. Southern Blend. I know a lot of you guys like that Southern Blend. So we'll put Southern Blend up here. On its own carry. Am I missing anything else? I don't think I am. I think the packs are only available in a wintergreen. So here we go. Let's take a smell test. I do have a can of Cougar, a.k.a. Grizzly. And this is a Grizzly Dipper dipping Copenhagen, basically. But let me just smell this really quick. Okay. I'm going to get to comments right now. Whoa, this is a lot finer than I remembered. Okay. This smells good. This smells... When you smell this, when you smell Grizzly or, or Cougar, it's if you smell it, then, uh, then it's like, oh! It's like smelling Vicks Rapid Rub, right? But this is... This is actually pretty smooth, man. I ain't going to lie. Man, I hope I don't like this. But I'm going to be honest. I hope I don't like this. I'm going to be honest with you guys, dude. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Oh, God. Okay. So let me take this zone in. I have a... That zone... Dude, this zone dragon fruit's been, been vibing. I've been vibing with zone. But here we go. I, I want to see how everyone's doing here. And see, I highlighted some of your comments. Rowdy's here vibing. Renee's here vibing. Jason's vibing. Fishing with Jace. What's up, guys? What's up, Fishing with Jace? This is your first live vibe, brother. Welcome, if it is. Um, John Memes, what's up, dude? How you doing, John? Chris's computer is full bar. No, it's not. Am I, am I glitching? Oh, he got that shit on shirt on today. Yes. <laughs> By the way, guys, this is, uh, it's probably being uploaded right now during the live vibe, but I reviewed Outlaw Ramblin' Root Beer, and oh my god, dude. I reviewed Outlaw Ramblin' Root Beer today. That's up on the Outlaw Dipco channel. I believe right now, I'm not 100% correct. I won't know until maybe one of you guys check. But um, it's a nice video. I talked a little bit of history on root beer and what flavor is actual root beer. So I like, it was a very fun video to shoot today. Even though I was battling a massive freaking migraine, dude. But if you guys don't know, you can use the code VIBE10 at outlawdip.com. Save you 10%. What's up, Tim? How you doing, dude? Timmy's back. Hell yes. Dave Huntington. Hey, y'all. New to chat. Dave, welcome to the live vibe, my friend. Welcome, dude. Nice to have you here today, buddy. Here we go. Just in time. A lot of people don't like the sweetness of Copenhagen Wintergreen, but I like it. Justin, you like it? Good. Even though you're, you're dipping that cougar right now, though, aren't you? You're dipping that cougar. Any kind of beer I will drink except for Bud Light. <laughs> the Bassback Copenhagen winning is my all-time fave. It's all I dipped through and after high school. Hell yes, dude. Chris Daddy one made the Grizzly guy, but I'm a Copenhagen man. Well, how? So I'm a guy. You're a man. I'm the Co I'm a, I'm a Grizzly man. You're a Copenhagen boy, America. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? The vibe, the vibe fan. What's up, Donnie? Welcome back, brother. Hey. Hey, Ninja Bear. How you doing, Ninja Bear? <laughs> Winter Green's fire. Okay, so wait. I think we're answering these already. Okay, so we're going to start with Copenhagen. I'm going to pack a lip of this damn thing. Enough blabbing. Oh, this is soft. I remember the cut of... Oh, this is different cut. This is a different cut. Do you remember when Copenhagen Wintergreen had like little rolly balls? It was, it was kind of ball -y. It'll be like... This is... Looks like a, like a grizzly cut. Yeah. 
That's the sweetness I'm talking about. It's not bad, dude. It's not bad. I taste the sweetness, but I don't taste the... Um, The overly sweetness, to be honest with you. We're going to let this simmer in my mouth, guys. I'm going to let this simmer a bit. Let's change colors here and let's start adding these suckers up. I want to see, out of the Live Vibe crew, what's the majority? What's the majority of um, people's flavor from uh, Copenhagen? So here we go. We got the Bassman Wintergreen all day. All right, that's one point for Wintergreen, guys. Just, just type it in before or below. That's what I'm in the comments. Jason. Copenhagen Black. And in, in that website, if, if you go to Fresh Cope, they will see. It says in bold letters, Cope Black is uh, back for good. Big Body, what's up, dude? You're a fan of the straight? More power to you, Big Body. All right. We got one straight dipper here. I love Cope Snuff. But for life, I'd have to go with Cope LC. All right. You guys remember when Mun Darcy? No, he's not Mun Jungle One anymore. <laughs> Darcy. Oh yeah, we all do. And see, Copenhagen straight. Whoa, I think that's probably the worst straight out there. <laughs> mint. All right, Farquad, I'm putting you down for mint, brother. I'm putting you down for mint. Their mint wasn't too bad either. Good old black for me. I miss it. Shit, where's black at? Ooh, black. Wow, look at that. Wintergreen. Wintergreen's back there now. <laughs> oh, Donnie, don't be sorry, dude. It's all good. Hey, man, life's important, brother. We're just here. Snow, we're here whenever you need us, dude. Whenever you're ready to vibe, Donnie. We appreciate you. The best, man. You have a Copenhagen tat can tattooed on me? No way. Shaking my head. Why are you shaking your head, dude? Don't shake your head because on my account, what they did to me, bro. But if you do have a Copenhagen um, tattoo, I would love to see it, man. I'd love for you to share with the live vibe. I love Copenhagen, my hometown. <laughs> this is another Copenhagen. I think you're thinking of Renee. Renee, have you tried, as a person living in, have you tried any Copenhagen products, brother? Let me know, dude. I know you're a big snooze, dude. Long cut straight from Iceman. Wow. Straight, really? Interesting. I'm learning. I'm learning. Matt Hardman. First one for the so blow. He's got that so blow. <laughs> Still misses Natty. Extra long cut. First Natty. No snuff in here yet. No snuff and no packs. I just put the packs just because there might be someone who just really enjoys the packs. Gregory. He's going with the wintergreen. We're pretty even here, man. Wilford, what's up, man? Welcome back to the live vibe. Southern Blend all the way. Yeah, it's been a minute since I tried Southern Blend. And trust me, guys, there's a lot of these. I'm a, I'll probably review. I won't review the snuff because you guys know why. Um, The packs, I'll do mint and Southern Blend. Are there any products? I don't have to do the, the long cut, the extra long cut natty. Just the flavor ones. Tim, another one for Southern Blend. Nice, Tim. Nice, Tim. Tim, I've been noticing you a lot, bro. Becoming a regular dude. Hey, Dan Horton. How are you still dipping Rinner Green and Mint? Made my gums recede bad in just one or two years. My gums are pretty good, dude. But I've been dipping Rinner Green for damn near 20 years, I think. I don't know. Some people just... I don't know, dude. I don't know. I guess I have leather gums, dude. Raper, what's up, dude? Cope long cut. There we go. We got a Cope LC. CD1 stream is good. All right, I think America would just uh, give me shit or some shit. Derek. Derek's vibing with the mint. I watched it, and yes, it's up. All right, guys. So my review of the Outlaw um, Ramblin' Root Beer. If you want to take a four minute and four second break from the live vibe, you can check it out. Comment the live vibe sent me. <laughs> I 
Donnie, my man. Jaden's boy. Hell yes. Robert, what's up, Robert? Hopefully everyone had a good day. I hope, of course, you guys have to have a, you guys had to have a good day, right? Even feeling like shit, bro. I'm like, today is going to be a good day. It's still getting in my head, man. But I am surprised. I am extremely tired. Extremely tired. But for some reason, the adrenaline kicks in once I'm doing the live five, dude. Robert, extra long cut. Cope winner game for Sean Belfield. What's up, Sean? How you doing, man? Welcome to the live vibe, dude. Sean, he's got the winter green. Winter green right now is tied with straight. Wow. I did not know straight was gonna be doing. I mean, we're, we just we're just getting started, dude. Use your code just to get more golden light before it's out. Hell yeah, brother. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad it helped. Saved you a little bit of money. Donnie, winter green for me, CD. Atta boy, Donnie. All right. Swisher Sheet, what's up, man? Do I like fishing? <sighs> yeah. I'm a kind of a city boy. Like, I don't like putting my hands inside the fish's mouth. Because I've, I've only been a... I've been deep sea fishing once. I did do a little bit of fishing on a dock in Oklahoma for one of those dippers retreats. And I caught, like, a fish like that big. It was my first fish ever. But, um... Yeah, I think I like actually being out there, being out in nature, under the sun, rather than catching fish. But um, I have a couple friends here that love fishing, and I just never have time to go out. But um, I think I find it enjoyable. I think I find hunting more enjoyable, though. I'm more of a woodsy mountain guy than I am the ocean, but I don't dislike it, brother. I don't dislike it. Dave, he says wintergreen. Look at that. We got five suckers doing the wintergreen. Jaden Cope wintergreen. All right, here we go. I think the the weenie green is going to start pushing ahead. Swisher does a bear shit in the forest. Farquad, you know, you know I'm not a man of the ocean, brother. He was asking a simple question, dude. Reaper, your first ep dip ever was Copenhagen snuff, bro. You just took the gnarliest dip for the first dip ever, dude. But Reaper, are you saying Copenhagen snuff? You'll be the first one. Let, let me know if that's if that's your you're saying it's your first dip. I don't know if that's the one you would pick. It's the best thing since light spread. <laughs> Copenhagen has balls. No, Rowdy. If you started dipping Copenhagen back in the day, there was some of it the cut wasn't like a straight cut dude sometimes it rolled it rolled like little tornado balls bro like little weird frizzy hair it was weird man you get those that know no <laughs> the bass man i choose wintergreen for life i got that tatted on me all right bass man did you already give an answer or am i putting an extra one for you bass man reyes what's up dude he's going with the wintergreen wow here we go Still, man, you already commented, right? And see, I just loaded my lip with Copenhagen Winter Game. Not as good as I remember. Actually, right now, it's better than that I remember. I can lie, guys. For me, it's it's better than I remember. It's soft in the lip. I like that. It is soft in the lip, dude. And Cougar and, and Grizzly, I will say, it's more abrasive. This is more a uh, spongy. Fishing with Jace, Cope Mint when it's cold outside, but but Cope Wintergreen. Well, I'm gonna put you down for Wintergreen because you ended with that one, buddy. <laughs> Wintergreen is the only Cope I've ever tried, Bay. Elena, do you like Natty Dips? If I would to, if you like Mint Dips, I would suggest trying Mint because it is a sweeter mint. But I'm gonna put you down for uh. I'm putting you down for Wintergreen Bay. How you doing tonight? Can't wait for carp season again. For quite since. Cope Whiskey Blend was better than black in my opinion. Well, Cope Whiskey Blend isn't available, Robert. Which sucks. Which sucks. But I put you down for the Natty, bro. Or no, I put you down for the extra long cut. Iceman says straight. Another straight.
Elena, Copenhagen Wintergreen tastes better in the cardboard can. Could be all in my head though. The fiber, not the fiberglass can. Fiberboard. Yeah. Are you guys, you, it was only Cope LC, I believe, and Wintergreen that came with, oh, and the snuff came in the fiberboard can. And then they had that inner lining of wax inside. And apparently that just kept the dip fresh. But I remember when I would do dips of, of, uh, of Copenhagen out of those cans, you do get little pieces of wax sometimes in your dip. It wasn't bad, it wasn't bad, but especially when you're scraping the bottom of the can. Oh, Bass, man, you lucky, dude. I feel like I need to go on a journey soon, bro, to process what the hell happened last night. I'm, I, I, I haven't had time to really reflect on it. I didn't go to the gym because I felt like shit. I went. To, I just went straight to work. And um, I need to sit with it. Tomorrow I'm going to be able to meditate on it. Chris, I give everyone, including myself, shit. Well, start giving yourself more shit, brother. And less to me. Thank you. And I appreciate you, Mark. <laughs> America. <laughs> She'll be on soon, Elena. Hell yeah. I'm assuming Elena asked... Where's her forever girl? Hmm, I don't dip Cope at all, but I've tried several flavors. I'd go with Cope Long Cut. All right, Ninja. Cope Long Cut. If you guys are vibing here and haven't done so yet, do me a favor and like the video. We're adding up all the fellow live vibers. Choice of Copenhagen product. Look at that. Were you hungover? Yes, absolutely, Soman. Migraine up the ass, dude. Migraine, dude. And still dehydrated. Still, I didn't even eat last night. I just pounded some water. I, I pounded some ibuprofen. And I just went, dude. I went. I went outside, started writing the script for the Outlaw video. Filmed that. Edited it. Dude, I filmed the Outlaw video. Just a little quick tidbit. It's about 20 minutes of filming after I, I write the script. Do I still have my... Yeah. That, that was a script. Just not, not like a script, just little bullet points. And um, I filmed it. So it takes about 20 minutes of filming, reading the script, reiterating lines, different projections in 20 minutes, right? Bro, I use this as my mic. This is a beautiful mic set right here. This gets clipped on. It's a wireless mic, gets clipped on here. And this gets clipped to my phone. This goes in the bottom of the iPhone, right? The lightning port. Bro, after 20 minutes of filming, when I pop this out of the socket to get it out of the, the my phone on the, on the tripod, it wasn't connected all the way. It was not connected all the way. So the audio, was just you can hear I have a little uh, what's this called it's for gnats a little fan with gnats that traps gnats with a UV light you hear that in the whole time the background so it was basically recording off a Bluetooth headset that was near it it wasn't recording off my mic so I had to refilm that whole thing over again I had to film that video twice bro it was just like one of those like all right are you gonna are you gonna let this get you in a bad mood you're gonna keep on going and again this is something you guys need to understand that whenever something bad happens you got to turn it around and make it into a positive thing so it took me 20 minutes of footage of so many takes right but the second go around I did it so fluently that it took 13 minutes so in post editing when I'm editing the video, it was actually cut the editing way shorter because it was less footage I had to review. So I just put it in my mind, hey, the first go around, it wasn't your best work. You could have said things differently. So that's the universe saying the second go around was much better. And I do feel like the second go around was more fluid. But yeah, I'm, I, I feel good now. No, No more pain in the head. I'm just tired i'm just tired <laughs> we're reviving dude we're reviving 
here we go. Hey y'all, new here. Don't know many dippers here in New Jersey and work with a bunch of chewers. Hell yes, Corbin. Welcome to Live Vibe, my friend. Corbin, if you had to choose one Copenhagen product for the rest of your life, what would it be, brother? Let us know. Welcome to Live Vibe, dude. We are a community of dippers and positive thinkers. Bryce Jones, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Cope Wintergreen all day for Corbin. Nice. Participating. Bro, there's a lot of you guys. Most of you guys. I think Copenhagen's going to win this one for sure. Yeah, I remember the Copenhagen Wintergreen had dingleberries. Thank you, Jason. Maybe I was living in a different timeline. Maybe that never existed. But thank you for reaffirming me, dude. And reaffirming that. Reaper. No, no, no. My dip choice is Cope LC. Even though I'm dipping Cope Wintergreen right now. All right. I hope you picked that one. I think I wrote yours down already. Oh, I know what you were talking about. Just effing around. Stop effing with me, guys. Stop effing with me. <laughs> Dude, if you like Outlaws Wintergreen, you're going to enjoy the uh, dark. It's just a more... It's a more dynamic taste, bro. There's so many... It's just, it's richer, not much more winter graining, but it's just, it's good, dude. It's good. Wayman's Reserve has, has been my twist lately to mix it up. Yeah, you know what? All right, guys. I've had this in for at least 15 minutes. It's good. It's not better than Cougar. It's not better than Grizzly, that's for sure. I don't think it's even better than Stoker's. It might be better. I might rank this fifth Wintergreen, maybe. This isn't bad. It's probably way better than the Husky and Longhorn. Again, I have to try those like in the same day to, to really differentiate it. But this isn't bad. It's less sweet than I, than I thought it would be. But that being said... My pick is going to black. Why am I picking black? Well, I'm picking black because I already have my favorite wintergreen, and that's grizzly. Grizzly cougar. And um But Copenhagen Black is such a unique flavor. And it and it's really good, dude. Even the the version that's out today. It's good. It's such a different taste, bro. It's so good. It's good. And that's a dip. Like, I, I still have a can here. I'll take a pinch every now and then to savor it. Because it's a $10 can of dip. Copenhagen Wintergreen was the same price as Grizzly. $8.33. $8.33. Um, I, have, I have points. Using 7-Eleven points. And it got it down to $8.33. So it's probably closer to 9 I don't know. But I should have just bought 5 I think it, I think they have the deal. If you buy five Copenhagen products, they're like three twenty-five each. I should have done that, especially for future reviews. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Only ever had it in the plastic can. Elena says, "Yeah, just uh, what's your favorite flavor, Elena? What's your favorite flavor? If you like the fruity flavors, then there's no really. I know you're a big outlaw dip fan." But I'm not saying the only one you're really missing out on, Elena, that I would really suggest you try from Copenhagen would be Southern Blend and Black. The Wintergreen isn't um, something to brag home about. But those are the ones I would recommend. Come on, boys. 43 people and only 18 likes. Give some CD some love and press that like button. Absolutely. I appreciate you, Renee. Like the button, man. It's 47 of you guys with only 21 likes. Come on. All right, straight all day. Technique, welcome back, dude. We missed you, bro. Where you been? He's going straight. Look at that, dude. Straight to number two right now. Bro, how is there more straight fans out there than black and mint? I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm not a big mint fan, dude, but Copenhagen mint is damn good. Is damn good for being a mint dip. Drink more root beer, <laughs> bro. That shit was so tasty today. 
I went to 7-Eleven. If you guys haven't seen my, my video that just got uploaded on the Outlaw Dipco channel, I went to 7-Eleven to get Wintergreen for today and to buy some root beer for the Outlaw video. And I'm here thinking I'm gonna get like two or three different root beers. A&W was the only root beer there, which sucked. But, which sucked, it sucked the fact that I didn't get a variety, but it was so good. I didn't get the diet shit either. So I drank, I probably drank about half that root beer and then I just tossed it. I tossed it because, dude, yesterday, not only was I hung over, bro, I broke keto. I broke low carb, bro. I don't normally eat that much carbs and I keep my carbs under like around 60 grams of carbs. Those three beers had been at least 60 plus the food I ate yesterday. I went over 100 grams of carbs. So that's why I, I kind of feel that little, I, I don't feel myself. I don't feel, I am myself. I just don't feel that. Ooh, you know, that high on life right now. <laughs> You're a big Jake. Okay, I didn't add smooth in here, but I'm going to put you down. I'm going to put you down, Jake, for wintergreen. I've had the smooth. Actually, no, I have had smooth wintergreen. Actually, I've had smooth wintergreen like three years ago. Not even. I think I did it when I was here in Florida. I ain't lying. Now that I think of it. Not not this wintergreen, but I remember it not being too bad either. I wonder what's the difference. If anyone knows the difference between the smooth wintergreen and this one, let me know. Let me know. Mostly natty dips. Tastes like barnyard. Okay. If you're not a natty dip find, then I would not recommend Southern Blend or Coke Black. I would recommend mint and their wintergreen. I would recommend mint or and their wintergreen, Elena. I said we'd have to vote on if we should ban the CD1 to the kitty table. Why would you do that? Why? I've been there. It sucks. It sucks, dude. Ah, uh, Menudo for the hangover, Chris. And down some coconut water. Yeah, I know all those tricks, but Menudo has carbs. I literally waited till 3 o'clock. I fasted till like 3 to, to just hydrate and not consume any carbs. Now it's going to take me two or three days just to be back to normal, I think. But trust me. You know what? I blame... Where is Elizabeth? I blame her. She goes, you have three beers in your fridge, Chris. You got to drink them all. <laughs> but that's a good thing, guys, though. I've had those beers in my fridge for at least a year. And now they're out of the fridge. So there's no reason for me to go out to buy more. I am done. I am done. The only time I'm drinking a beer is if I go out to like a bar, I'll have a beer. Or if I go somewhere for a special occasion. But no more of the heavy stuff. That, that, those are really strong beers. Mm. Dude, for me, dude, yeah, I understand where people get the manure taste, but for me, Natty Dips, they taste earthy, man. They taste earthy. It's the tobacco. It's that fire cure. It's, it's, it's good. It's not for me. I like wintergreen, but because I do get the earthy feel when I do dip wintergreen, and fun fact, Wintergreen is a flavor that's in root beer. If you get that minty taste, that's the wintergreen that you taste. You know? The, it's a sassa root beer. The main flavor of root beer it comes from the sassafras plant. More specifically, the root. But, um, yeah. Very, very fun stuff. I like Natty, though. Easy pick for me, Copenhagen Wintergreen for life. What's up, Eagles fan? How you doing, man? Man, Eagles, man. They had it hard last season, bro. That was a tough one for you guys, man. Everyone thought the Eagles were going to go all the way. LC Original and Southern Blend are the best of what I can get. That's right. You're in Washington. They banned flavor dips. But I'm surprised you can get Southern Blend there. That's cool. Alex, what's up? I say I ain't dipped Copenhagen in forever. I say wintergreen was always kind of sweet. It is sweet. It's still sweet. Not as sweet as I remember, but I used to dip Grizzly. But now, dang, $7 a can up here in North Carolina. I dip Longhorn, Long Cut, wintergreen. Brother, you're like many of us, brother. I got the cougar. You got to adapt. But I'm going to give you Copenhagen wintergreen, dude. Thank you for your response, Alex. Welcome to the live live, dude. You've been here before. What's your opinion on smooth green? That's my favorite. Yeah, I, I I don't recall it, but I do remember trying it, dude, not too long ago. 
maybe two years ago. I remember trying it because the can had a sticker. It was a black can. You know, it might have been at the old mud jug shop. It was a black can. It wasn't tin. It didn't have a tin lid and it just had a sticker that said smooth wintergreen. But I remember when I tried it, it was like a, not a promotional, but it was just like, it was only available in a few states. And I believe California had it. Hope wintergreen all day for Bryce. Yeah. I should have said wintergreen packs because they are 100 times they are 100 times better than the pouches or more convenient. You want me to switch yours, bro? <laughs> it doesn't feel like nicotine. It's 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 something else. But Jesse was on the on speakerphone with Outlaw and um they're testing out upping the dose on the Nick safe and it's like they got buzzed out of their heads off over there so I think they're going to be adding more Nick safe don't quote me on that don't quote me on that because some people don't feel it some people do well now I starting soon you're going to freaking feel that shit dude <laughs> what's up Chris I did Copenhagen I did Copenhagen um had to be in honor of Darcy Mudge of One, Copenhagen Lockhead Original, like the mint sometimes in wintergreen. But shout out to Darcy. Absolutely, man. Shout out to Darcy, dude. Darcy was always Kelp LC, man. That was his favorite. But he doesn't do that anymore. I think he's doing... Last time I talked to him, he's, he, he's still dipping, dude. He's still dipping. Um, he does a mixture of... Extra Long Cut, I believe. And Dark Wintergreen. He'll put like three quarters pinch... Of extra long cut and then a quarter pinch of um, dark wintergreen, and that's how he likes his dip. Not better than Stoker's? No, dude. Stoker's has a unique wintergreen taste to it. No, no. I don't know, bro. I'm picking Stoker's over Copenhagen, dude. I'm picking Stoker's over Copenhagen wintergreen. That's just me, Eagles fan. Ao May May, what's up? Ao May May, welcome to the live vibe. This is your first one. Welcome, and thank you for participating. You're a coat mint, dipping green green right now. All right, you're one of the very few. Actually, extra long cut. Actually, no one snuff. No one says packs. Well, one person did say packs, but yeah, no one. I'm surprised. Copenhagen snuff was outlaws dip for a long time. That was his favorite dip for a long time. Eight bucks, dude. When I was dipping Cope Wintergreen, it was like four twenty-seven a can. Yeah, bro. When I was dipping Copenhagen back in the day, it was like three bucks a can. Everything's going up. Everything's going up. I will say, especially for someone who has been dipping Copenhagen Wintergreen for ten years, it's definitely is sweet up like Skull Wintergreen because it's less sweet. But not as salty as Grizzly. I am a bitter guy. I'm a salty guy. Or maybe that has something to say. You know, it's either you're, you're a sweet guy and you love donuts and you love candy. Or you're more of a salty guy. You like chips. Right? You like hot sauce. I'm a salty guy. I'm a salty guy. I don't knock Grizzly. I think it's a great dip. But definitely tastes a lot of salt and Grizzly dips for some reason. Well... There is salt in all dips. The reason why there's salt is just like you would think. Like, you salt meat, right? Um, it's all the preservatives, dude. It's to preserve the tobacco. And not only that, what happens when you add salt to your food? It brings up the flavor. Not only does it preserve it, it accentuates the flavor. Bay, I can't find those flavors. Which one? Do you have... I wouldn't recommend... The only ones that... Would... Yeah, you, you, you're not going to like black or southern blend. You're not going to like black or southern blend. But if you can't find mint, let me know. I'll, I'll send you a can. Copenhagen straight isn't bad. I just can't dip it after leaving a can on my dash all day in the sun. Going in for a pinch and being all hot, extra, juicy. I threw up. Bro, why would you, I would never leave a dip in your car, bro? I mean, if it's if it's winter time, yeah, but in the summertime, dude, 
it'll dry it up so quick, man. You know how it discuss when you leave a car, a dip in your in, in your car, and you take a dip, and it's like hotter than the temperature in your mouth. It's not very refreshing, and it's all soft. <laughs> Oh, trust me, dude. The flavors are never ending, brother. Without law. And I believe something's on the, on the ray that has that flavor in one of them. A mixture of that combination. I believe at that. Exploring with rednecks. You're picking the wintergreen? Hell yes, dude. I understand that, dude. But I tip Longhorn, long cut wintergreen. But if I did dip Copenhagen, it would be wintergreen. Or original. I think I already got you that for wintergreen, Alex. Let me know. Man. Really? Y'all just changing your shit? <laughs> but you know what? I'll be glad to take a wintergreen to add one to Southern Blend. I'll be happy for that. Working in gaming, man. Oh, well, getting ready for a trip to Florida on Sunday. Add a boy technique. What are you going to do in Florida, dude? What part of Florida are you visiting, man? Let me know. Carbs turn into energy, though. Yeah. Not that kind of... Well, no. So I like training in the morning, but no. <laughs> I know they don't turn... They, they give you energy, right? But for me, it does the opposite, bro. It brings me down. It makes me tired. makes me sluggish. Long cut for Ashton. What's up, Ashton? How you doing, brother? Hope all is well, dude. Yes. I heard that, I saw the post Outlaw did, and I believe someone's DM me uh, um, a post. They're making a spitless, Copenhagen is making a spitless tobacco, so we can all assume it's going to be a snooze. And I actually can't wait to try that, dude. Good night, babe. Good night, Elena. At least beer wasn't Sam Adams' utopias at 22%. Oh, really? Sam Adams make a... Yeah, that's just too much. That's just too much. Honestly, dude, I felt I felt buzzed after that first beer, dude. I felt buzzed after that first beer. I think I should have stopped that too, though. That third one really got me. What's up? Exploring with rednecks? That's more than a four loco, Chris. Christ. You call me Christ, bro. There's only one Christ, bro, ain't me. I'm CD1. <laughs> Four Locos are weak unless you have seven of them. Bro, if you're drinking seven Four Locos, you're going to have a heart attack. That's why they got canceled, right? Were people like having heart attacks off the Four Locos? They had to take them out of the market? Long cut winter game for video challenge. What's up, video challenge? Welcome back, dude. Winter game for meow meow. For meow meow. I think the Eagles will be better this year. Better coaching staff. Nikki Seriani. Has no business calling plays. Eagles have a killer offense. Nick Seriani used the same eight plays. Way too predictable. There it is. One of my best friends is an Eagles fan. It was a specialty beer. Can't remember how much it cost per bottle, but it's expensive. Well, 22%. Hell yes. Night, Elena. Have a great night, Rest. Oh, Oasis tricks. Oasis, you're the first one, buddy. You're the first one. Welcome to the live vibe, Oasis. The salty goods. <laughs> NC, give it a shot. If you, if you like Natty Dips, give it a shot. Don't forget to show my project truck on the Live Vibe CD one. We're doing Live Vibe Spotlight tomorrow, brother. We're doing it tomorrow. We don't do Live Vibe Spotlight on, on uh, Thursdays. But I will tomorrow. But you got to be here, bro. You got to be here. And that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start whoever's in the comments. If they're there, then I'm going to go to them. There's a lot of times where I'm showing people's uh, stuff and they're not in the Live Vibe. And I don't want to show your stuff if you're not present. Technique, your everyday dip is grist straight. I think I can tell that by your profile picture, but um, <laughs> nobody has cans around here. But I got to say, I was pretty impressed. Definitely going into the rotation. Oh, a tub of stokers. So 
Okay, Grizz Strape, but I did get a tub of Stoker Strape. Gotta say, pretty impressed. Definitely going into my rotation. Yeah, and not only that, dude, you're saving money, dude. You're saving money. And it's... I, I used to be a one-dip guy, bro, but literally the live vibe has coasted me out of that shell. It broke me out of that. And I love... Like, in the live vibe, dude, I had a zone 9 milligrams in. I'm dipping Copenhagen Wintergreen. We're going to start Deal or No D here shortly. And I'm going to probably dip uh, Outlaw Wintergreen Pouches. And then I got CBD or some Cougar Long Cut. I dip like three or four different freaking dips in the night now. I prefer Grizzly Dark Wintergreen from Grizzly Regular when I grab a can of it. Right on. Celebrant is tits money, dude. <laughs> I thought it was good. I thought it was good. If to me, the Southern Blend was kind of like a Copenhagen Black, right? You got that natty background flavor, but it's just the little uh, that little nip, that little flavor change. <laughs> but I say how much? But I say how much is Cougar in Florida? It's five bucks a can, dude. Actually, no, it's a little bit less. It's a little bit less. If you buy the roll, it's cheaper, dude. You can get it for 20 bucks a roll for Cougar. Gregory, you're dipping. I'm assuming that's what we're saying. You're dipping Stoker's Wintergreen. Hell yes, dude. Hi, Chris in the live vibe. Sorry, Chris. I'm a troublemaker like Robert, too. You, it's your fault. You got me drunky drunk. Just like you got me lowy low. That one live vibe. <laughs> it was meant to happen. It was meant to happen. I just, I know I can't drink anymore. Because the live vibe takes 100% of my focus. And I know I was like, I was, I couldn't read, dude. I was seeing double. It was weird. It was weird, but I had a great time, and I hope I was, it was somewhat entertaining. I hope it was entertaining. I was so gone that I couldn't even do the, the chapters. I'm just leaving it as it is. It's just going to be there in the abyss. Live Vibe 100. <laughs> hey, Liz. Hey, Renee. Look at you guys. I recommend General Wintergreen Seems Ashen. A lot of people have been, have been dipping that, dude. I know Robert's been digging the, the, the white portions. Liz from Logan. Technique, heading to Tavares between Ocala and Orlando, taking my son down for spring break and to see my dad. That's awesome, Technique. That's awesome. I think Ocala is like three hours from me. Orlando is like two hours. So, yeah, you're, you're central. You're central Florida, I think you're going to. Hell yeah, brother. I hope you have a great time, dude. The weather isn't too bad right now, man. Dude, same here. I swear, uh, I never understood how carbs give you energy. Every time I eat pizza, ton of bread, pizza, I just crash. Makes me tired. Yeah. Spikes your blood sugar. Too much carbs. Dude, when you're on a low-carb diet, you can eat a plate full of food. You can eat freaking 10, 30 steaks if you wanted to. And it just, you don't feel like you want to take a nap, dude. It's the carbs. After you eat lasagna... And <laughs> Jason. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, dude. back some people are saying yes some people are saying no we're good now it's my internet guys it's not my computer it's supposed to rain tonight but i don't know i think it's all these solar flares man you guys have been paying attention 
with all the freaking solar flares and and back outs. Dude, have you guys um have you guys been uh I don't know if it's conspiratorial, but people are saying on April 8th when we have the total solar eclipse that it's gonna it's gonna really mess up with the Wi-Fi and stuff. But I'm back, I'm glad. Alright, well, you know what? It went out it went out at, at the best time. Um, we tallied it up. These these are all the fellow live vibers picked. If you had to choose one Copenhagen product for life, what would it be? For those who are just entered chat, let me know. We're about to close this off and play deal or no deal, but I'm glad that we are back. Everyone's saying we're back. We're good. I'm telling you guys, it's these solar flares, dude. <laughs> yeah, my side needs to go right there. I am hardwired. My laptop has the Ethernet adapter. I'm hardwired straight to my modem. My upload... Here, let me show you guys. Let me run an internet speed test. I have some the fastest internet the world has ever seen. Look. Look how fast that is. I'm going to take a screenshot. Ah, uh, but it, megabytes. Look at it. I'm taking a screenshot right now. 15 isn't good though. I, it says I need five points of megabytes per second upload. This is what it's saying right now. There it is. Who has 821 megabytes download? I got 15 megabytes upload right now. So, you, you tell me guys. That's fast freaking internet. Both my Xboxes are unplugged right now from the power source. And I'm getting 821 download. But you guys know when you're streaming, you need upload speeds. And to do YouTube, you need at least 5 megabytes per second upload. Right now I'm at 15, so I should be good right now. But when the internet does this, it's, this, it's out of my control. But I appreciate you, the ones that are still vibing in chat. I appreciate you guys. A lot of people would be like, I'm out. Which a lot of people have already. There's only like 25 of you guys here vibing. We had 47 people earlier. All right, Jaded, I'm going to get you down for Copenhagen Wintergreen, dude. That one's already the victor, dude. King, what's up, King? I didn't see you made an entrance. How you doing? And my Cope product or Cope Wintergreen packs. There we go. Cope Wintergreen. We got, we possibly had two. One person wanted to switch. Interesting. There is that pretty face. Welcome back, CD. You guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for staying. I'm never going to quit on you guys. As long as you guys are willing to wait for me, I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait all damn freaking night for this. But if something ever were to happen, like a blackout, get yeah, that's that's what uh, the live vibe chat on instagram does i'll let you guys know there no <laughs> spets you here vibing with a spets how you doing dude need that upload them rookie numbers i don't know what's going on man I don't know what's going on, man. But all right, guys. These are our final numbers here. We're going to play Deal or No Deal. Are we going to break our record tonight? My question to you guys. <laughs> you have my axe. My question to you guys. Let's, just, let's figure this out right now. One or two games tonight. I'm down with one. And then go straight to Would You Rathers and be vibe and be talking shit. But if you guys want to try two games tonight, we can do two games. It's all up to you guys. Majority. Majority would dictate. Dude, I don't know why my upload isn't... I'm going to have to call my service provider. I might have to upgrade something. I have to upgrade something. Because that's ridiculous. Um, it's been happening lately. It's been happening lately. Yeah. 
All right, two games or one game? Y'all are just already picking cases and shit. Uno game. All right, we're playing one game and one game only tonight, guys. I like it. Then we're going straight to where you rather and we're chilling, listening to music, and getting to know one another. Seventeen, she's low. Don't pick her ass. Keep case. Keep case. Keep which case? Who wants to pick the first case? First person. Who wants to keep the first case, bro? Robert says two games. I guess it all depends. If we win them, win one million dollars. We're gonna see. <laughs> no, we don't, Renee. You better start playing, dude. You better start playing. All right, King. The world is on your shoulders, buddy. Unless you decide to sell it back to the banker. Round one. Choose a case. I had to do it. King. We got you, bro. We got you. Starting off with Jaden. First, I am your host, Chris Tapes One. We are playing Deal or No Deal. We need to beat a million dollars. That's our record. Our record is 750. We need to get the million dollar case. If you pick the 500,000, 750, or the one million dollar case, you're going to get sent down to the kitty table, the shittiest of tables. It's literally shit. Like, like in the bottom, there's the, the shit balls underneath the table. Steamy, fresh, next to some crusty socks. You do have a jar of mayonnaise, though, to eat. You got mayonnaise, you got cistroming. You got our little dude here, Justin, who just keeps on running and loves PB touches and kisses. This is the camo. This is Farquad. This is our mascot, Millie. This is a horrible place to be. Everyone else is vibing at the big table. This is the Bahala table where we got plenty of food, dip, and mead. If you never played this game, you'll learn as we go. The objective is not to be disqualified. You don't. It's a bad if you get disqualified, you're gonna be sent to my little black, my little blue book, my little blue book. You don't want to be here. Not a cool place to be. All right, Jaden, let's start off right, baby. Let's do it. Live vibe 101. Nice one, Jaden. Positive vibes. Ninja Bear, 14. Oh. oh. Shit! Ninja Bear! Nathan, call 911! Help! Police! Help! Ninja Bear? Sorry, girl. You are disqualified. Let her have it. First freaking round. We might have to play two games tonight, guys. We might have to play two games tonight. Holy shit, where's my pen? Ninja Bear, let her have it. Ninja Bear. No. Ninja Bear, this is your sixth DQ. Season three. This is your sixth DQ, Ninja Bear. Not key. Yes, Jaden, we know you have immunity, bro, to the 27th. You got six more days and your ass is mine, Jaden. <laughs> Not like that. Not like that. No, Ninja Bear, you blew it. <laughs> I do miss her. She looks good up there. <laughs> Hoffington Hufflepuff. No. Right, Jason? The Bassman, you're right. You're right. I didn't play it. But most definitely did. Where is her? Where, where are you? There you are. You blew it! Ninja Bear, you blew it. Just like Jaden said. Ah, oh, shit. My Caitlyn Jenner <laughs> Welcome to the kitty table. You can play with Millie. Millie be vibing. <laughs> Here we go. Six made it. What's up, POB? Glad you made it, brother. Here we go. Low number, baby. That's 
Thank you, P.O.B. That's all you, dude. 19 because Logan misses it. Be good, redhead. Nice one. Bassman. Logan. What's happening now, bro? You might have to... You might have to... You know, get back. You might have to get back to her, dude. Shit, Bowser Ninja. <laughs> you... Only you, you say it, my lord, to uh, King Fisher. I'm the city one, Spets. I appreciate you. Twenty-two. Oh, darn. Son of a bitch, Spets. You suck, dude. You fit right in. You suck, bro. You freaking suck. Four hundred. You're lucky you didn't get DQ'd. <laughs> Robert, 23. Let's go, Robert. You got this, dude. Oh, darn. I'll take that. I'll take that. It needed to go. It needed to go. It needed to go. All right. Screw this offer. Come on, banker. It's okay. You do better than that. No deal. That's the spirit. Time for Jason. The next round. We got you here, Jason. 21. Let's go. That's what we like to see. Hell yes, Jason. Mike, Michael, welcome back, dude. He's getting K16. Let's go. Nice All right, Michael. All right, Michael. You're rolling now, guys. We're rolling. She's low. Don't pick her out. All right, so Logan, you're picking case number 17. Oh, she somewhat has a red hue of a hair. You have a type, my friend. Nice oh, ho, ho, Logan. Logan. Oh shit. King, pick another case, brother. Sorry. Donnie. <laughs> just for tonight, Donnie. She's your girl just for tonight. Nice Alright, Donnie. We're doing good, guys. We still got the Millie. We still got the Millie. Meow, meow. Come on, little kitty, kitty. Oh my god! Let Meow Meow have it, guys. Meow Meow just ruined Live Vibe 101. <laughs> meow Meow, you are no stranger to that kitty table, buddy. No stranger. Nathan! Nathan, call 911! Help! Police! Help! Nathan? You're disqualified, my friend. Let him have it, guys. Let him have it. Meow Meow is a bad kitty and has been a bad kitty. Meow Meow. Welcome, Ninja. Ninja, my Meow. Enjoy it. Mwah. You give it just a PB kiss just for being there. You son of a bitch, dude. No thanks. You, Meow Meow. What do you got to say for yourself, dude? What do you got to say? Come on, banker. You can do better than that. Shit balls on a stick. Oh yeah, we gotta do that. We didn't we didn't we didn't play tiger. I am never gonna financially recover from this. Nope. But 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 meow meow, how could you? <laughs> K9's vibe. What's up, K9? How you doing, dude? Well, meow meow just effed no it up. Deal. So here we go. Time for the next round. You can't, well, if someone else could get disqualified here. Nice not a canine. Not a canine, because he's doing that positive thinking nowadays, bro. He's not worrying about other people. He's only worried about himself now, so he's got that positive vibes, dude. Jaded. Got to pick another one, buddy. That one's been picked, dude. <laughs> Record low. No, we can't. Record low was never, is a $1 case robber. We can't. We can't break our record. So we're still good. We're still vibing. Let me scroll up. POB already went. All right, guys, put your case numbers below. I'm actually just gonna go all, all the way to the bottom. NC26, Renee, I don't think Renee is gone. Renee, 15. You're doing good, Renee. All right, Renee. You see, you didn't get disqualified this time, Renee. You're good, dude. 
You're good. You're turning things around, man. You're turning things around. Robot Ninja. What's up, Robot Ninja? Welcome to the live vibe. Love your profile pic. Very interesting. Is that Pat? That's not Patrick. That, that looks like a thumb or something. But okay. We'll give you number three, dude. All right. All right, dude. P.O.B. 11. Let's go. All right, P.O.B. All right, P.O.B. You're doing good, dude. You're doing good. Get your case numbers down. That's a pretty nice. Oh offer. man, this sucks, dude. No deal. Time for the next round. Thirteen, Robert. Thirteen. All right, man. Woo! You like to see. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Farquad, Alf himself. Riding a bike. Oh, darn. Farquad. Farquad. How could you, Farquad? Blow it! Farquad. You get to sit on Alf, my friend. You're disqualified first off. You're disqualified. But right on that freaking... Look at that. He's biting you right now. You're laying under his bowels right now, bro. There you go. Face to face, dude. Kiss him. Kiss him. Farquad enjoyed those socks. Both chairs are taken. You're gonna have to sit on top of the shit bows, dude. Farquad, you blew it, man. Let Farquad have it. Farquad needs to hear it, dude. Farquad needs to hear it. <laughs> Mr. Mighty Oregon, what's up, brother? Bro, you missed the first hour, bro. I did this dip for you, bro. You wanted me to review this. I did. Farquad, you mother Hufflepuff. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Farquad, ride your butt to the kitty table. Well, Farquad, go ahead and scoot, scoot to that kitty table. Go number four, my lord. No, King Fisher. I am not the lord. I'm Christopher Swan. <sighs> Let's do this. Excellent. You can't really screw up here, guys. Just don't pick a two out of three. I push my lemon to the kitty table. <laughs> That's a pretty nice offer. Ah, uh, I know. I was at bingo. <laughs> nice, dude. You play bingo? Hell yeah, dude. Well, bingo Thursday night bingo. Um, it's better than I remembered it, brother. Uh, Copenhagen. It's not as sweet as I remembered it. The cut is definitely different. Not bad. It's not top five, but it's not bad, dude. Not bad. We did a whole vote. We did a whole vote on uh, Copenhagen products. Farquad, come on. Put that shoot. <laughs> Put that two stroke away, sir Farquad. <laughs> Nine for Jew Breeze. No deal. Oh, that's, that's right. Good. You're a uh, you're in Louisiana. Jew Breeze was a San Diego Charger before. Man, San Diego, the Chargers, when Jew Breeze left us, bro, that was heartbreaking, bro. But we had Philip Rivers, so here we go. 26. We got you, Jaden. Excellent. <laughs> Hell, I'm no lord. I did not pick the <laughs> Hell. I am no lord. I did not pick the Millie. <laughs> You'll enjoy it, dude. It was, it was a good one, bro. We had a lot of people who participated. And see, 26 is taken, dude. Pick another one. You guys, pick your second case if you want. No one can be disqualified anymore. <laughs> Everyone's all down right now. What the hell, man? It's just, you guys, we're gonna we're gonna get the melee when when we do it. Look at Robot Ninja's involved. Hell yeah, Robot Ninja. Nice one. King, you will always be my lord to me. <laughs> That's a pretty nice offer. 64. No deal. That's the there we go. Time for the next round. I said nine. <laughs> Did I pick a wrong one for you, dude? My bad. Ninja. Ninja wants out of the kitty table. If you're in the kitty table, if you pick two cases in a row that are under $100,000, you get out of the kitty table. 
And then you can party with us big boys at the big table. So let's do this. Ninja wants out. Does she get her first point here? Excellent. Yep. She does. Ninja. Make a little side note here. That's you got one, one more nice ninja, offer. and you're good. One more, she's out of the kitty table. No deal. That's the spirit. Time for the next round. K9 with that positive juju. Let's go, bro. Oh, All right. At least it wasn't the 300, so I'll take that as a win, K9. <laughs> That's a pretty nice offer. No deal. That's the spirit. Time for the next round. Gregory, 25. Let's go, buddy. Low case. Oh. Whew. We're not going to win at this game, guys. It's okay. That's We're good. That's a pretty nice offer. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this offer, guys? $107. You came here for the money. Time for the next round. King. Well, first off, you didn't want to pick the first case. I picked you to pick the first case, so this isn't on you, bro. I picked you. Your case is actually a really great case, King. A really good one. It's low as F. But, yeah. It's not King's fault. I picked King. Oh, my God. I picked the 50. <laughs> King. <laughs> Ninja Bear. Oh, we losing big this one. Ninja Bear, all right. Ninja Bear's out of the kitty table automatically. Nice. Look at that. She plays by the rules. Ninja Bear. Welcome to the big table, Ninja Bear. You're vibing. You're floating, Ninja Bear. That's a You're the only one paying offer. attention. The other losers at the kitty table are like, what? What's going on? They're getting eaten by a cow. You vibing now. Ninja Bear's out, guys. She's vibing with, with it, vibing with us at the big table. Farquad is getting dung, cow dung all over his face. No deal. That's the spirit. Final decision. Which case has the higher dollar amount? Your original case or the final unopened case? All right, guys. We're keeping... Uh... <laughs> this should have been King's case during the game. Okay. But let's just hope your original case. this is a $15 case. Ah! <laughs> Alright guys, we want 300 smackaroonies, man. 300 smackaroonies. <laughs> I owe Raymond two lap dances from the lady in blue. <laughs> Raymond deserves all the lap dances, man. You guys keep praying for Raymond, dude. Keep praying for Raymond. It's on my Chris, or it's on me, Chris. Will you come hang out with me? I'm taking you on a fast effing boat in the ocean and getting some fresh shrimp and grilling them on the beach. Bro, that sounds amazing, brother. I love shrimp. Grilled shrimp? Bro, I love shrimp, dude. <laughs> Camel equals cow now. <laughs> Did I say cow? Did I did I call the camel a cow again? Oh my god! I'm not even drinking space dust, dude. You want to run it back? All right. So let's see. We got Farquad. Ninja's out. Ninja's out. But Farquad can still get out if he participates. Let's see. Who else? Who else got in there? Somebody else. Who else got? Let's see. It was uh, Ninja. Was it Bassman? No, it wasn't Bassman. It was. Uh... Somebody tell me who else was at the kitty table. I forgot, man. I forgot. Was it Cowboy? Cowboy's not here today. Farquaad and someone else. Why is my nose running? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Game over written in a pixelated way. No. Thank you for the super chat, Robert. Am I... Am I buffering? Am I, am I pixelated? 
Am I pixelated? I don't know what that means. Robert, let me know. I hope you're not messing with me. Written in a pixelated way. Pixelated, I'm saying that I may be pixelated. I'm not sure. That's right. Okay, so this is your first live hive, dude. Um, depending on where we're at with our record high, there's a certain amount of cases that automatically get disqualified to the kitty table. This is where you have to stay for 24 hours. This is a shit table, bro. So the kitty table means you got a jar of mayonnaise to eat and you got a can of fermented fish. Sistromi. This is horrible. And you're surrounded by... Well, that's our mascot, Millie. She keeps the positive vibes in the darkest of darks. So she's there for now. Season four, she's going to be at the big table at all times. But everyone else is parting. Do you want to be at the kitty table and eat shit and mayonnaise? Or would you rather be parting with us, surrounded by abundance and positive vibes? That's why you don't want to get sit down there, dude. I know it's late. This is something that we've been doing here at the Live Vibe, but yes. The chat is show you that pixelated image was added. Oh, yeah, you see my, my program doesn't work. Oh, okay, okay. As long as you guys can see them. As long as you guys can see them. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, Robert. I was trying to super sticker feature that only shows the pic in the chat, but that's cool. As long as you guys can see it. Yeah, I, I kind of know some emojis don't work on here. As long as you guys can see it, that's cool. All right, guys, let's do this, dude. Pick your numbers, guys. Pick everyone's numbers. And who wants to pick the first case? Who wants to pick the first case? Pick case number 10 for the new game. Are you talking about Mighty? You want to be the first person to pick a case? Bro, I just smashed a bug that was on my desk. What kind of bug is that? What the F? Ew. Who's picking the first case, dude? I need to blow my nose, man. I'm still have some sort of... It could be allergies, bro. I don't know. I'm, I've been stuffy since uh, Monday, I believe. Yeah, weird. Guys, I'm talking, dude, I've had. I had that Copenhagen dip for an hour and a half. It was beginning to turn like mud. So I'm done with that. Outlawdip.com, guys. Vibe 10, 10% off. I'm dipping a pouch. Excuse me, I just burped. Ah, house was a bus. Wouldn't pass inspection. Damn it. Still looking. It's not over, dude. It's not over yet, man. You gotta take that as a good sign, Green. You got to take that as a, as a good sign. If you're having trouble taking that as a good sign, think of it like this. Think of it that you're you're not supposed to have that house. Something bad, some bad juju was at that house. Or not only that, there's going to be a better one for you. And maybe even cheaper. A better and cheaper one. Just keep believing, brother. Stay positive. You're going to get it, dude. You're going to get it. You're going to get it, Green. All right, guys. We're going to pick, I think it was um, Mighty Oregon. I believe. Pick case 10 for the new game. All right, you're going to, you're holding the, the million dollar ticket here, buddy. Unless you decide to sell it back to the banker. Round one. 
Choose a case. All right. May the force be with us all. And K9 is spamming the hell out of the comments, so. All right, K9, we got you, buddy. I see your nine. <laughs> That's why he was spamming nines. Like, dude, I got the best case. I got the best case. Nine. <laughs> Atta boy, K9. You're rocking, brother. You see? You see? You're doing good, dude. Positive vibes. Jason, 22. Oh. Not good, Jason. Not good, my friend. <laughs> NC23. Nice one. Atta boy, NC. Atta boy, NC. Loving that shit. All right. Jaden, his girl, 12. That's what we like to see. Jaden has immunity from the kitty table, guys. And he picks the same girl. Jaden's girl always has low cases. He never gets disqualified. So Jaden, don't ever, ever pick the first case. Because your girl, bro, is magic. Your girl's magic, dude. Don't ever pick the first case. Well, I won't allow it. I would never pick 12 for the first case. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Robert. Where are you at, Robert? Oh no, that was that was something else. I'm sorry, I've gotta go past through all these canines canines numbers. Okay, that's a question mark, but we're gonna give it to you, Logan. Let's do this, buddy. Excellent! Oh! Yes! Atta boy, Logan! You see? You just had to leave for a little bit, bro. You just gotta just leave for a little bit. Give her some space. Now she's warming up to you. Ninja, 14. Didn't she pick 14 last game, Ninja? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, there my God! Case. <laughs> Ninja, I think it's time to let go. Let her have it, guys. Let her have it. First ever to get out of the KD table, and then... No. No, I don't think it's the first time, but... All right. Um, we're going to play her favorite sound bite. I am never going to financially recover from this. Nathan has to definitely be called, for sure, for this one. Let Nathan, her have it. call 911! Help! Police! Help! And you blew it. You blew it! Elena, for the second time tonight, you are disqualified. Elena, I'm a ninja. Ninja. That was some bullshit, dude. That was some bullshit. Holy mf -er. Shit! <laughs> ninja, how could you? Oh no, she's got it again. Oh my G. <laughs> and she goes back to the kitty table. Wow. We should have picked the 14 for the case. I know. I know. That's why I always I always say who wants to pick the first case. And I noticed that none of you do. Don't carry that burden. Okay. This is just a game. This is just friendly. But if you feel like you've got a good case. I mean, what are the chances of 14 on tomorrow's deal or no deal is, is going to be a million? Probably very low. I don't know. But um, how dare you, Tim says. <laughs> Tim, you gotta pick a case, brother. You gotta pick a case. Ninja, why? You must rain hellfire upon us. <laughs> like we are the air nation. <laughs> She's back. She's back. It's okay, though. She's no stranger. Oh, wait a minute. This is her seventh. I have to add another tick mark to Ninja. Ninja, this is your seventh. You're running out of room here. I can not I can barely add that last tick mark. Ninja is my crush. <laughs> well, your crush is not doing too hot tonight. <laughs> Had fun playing with those turd Legos. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
We picked your case, Mighty Oregon. I wouldn't be talking shit, my friend. Your case... You know, we're gonna have a new rule. Maybe if you pick the case, if it's under a certain amount, you automatically go to the kitty table. That's gonna be a new thing too, man. We should have let Ninja pick tomorrow's case. <laughs> we should let Ninja... But that's the thing, though. What if she picks a 14? What are the chances of the case is gonna be back-to-back -back 14? <laughs> Mother effer, why? Ah, oh, shit. Mother shit. Chance, that's it. I'll have four shame. <laughs> Watch out, dude. She's Fire Nation, dude. She's gonna burn that camel, not cow. Farquad, by the way, how's the camel doing for you, man? How's the camel doing for you? Alright, guys. Two people can still get disqualified, though. Ninja's back on the Come table on, with Banker. Ninja, and I forgot who was the other person that got DQ'd the first round. But where that person was, still there. $23,000. Bro, our first round, we lose two fat no cases, deal. guys. Time for the next round. Renee, you got this, buddy. Yes! What we like to see. Renee, back to back good cases, buddy. Hell yes, dude. Steelman, he says number seven. All right, like Stillman, you're rocking, buddy. You're vibing. Mighty Oregon wants in on this action. He's picking K6. Excellent. All right, Mighty Oregon. Donnie. Donnie wants case nine. Oh shit, Donnie. Nineteenth been picked, buddy. Got to, got to, got to pick another one, dude. Our boy Green, case twenty. Let's go, Green. Excellent. There you go, Green. There you go. Farquad wants out. Again, Farquad. It has to be under $100,000. For you to get one tick mark. Oh, no. Sit your ass down. Get back on that camel, bro. You're not leaving anytime soon, Farquad. Suck it, dude. Suck it. Not That's me, the camel. Nice offer. All right. That's horrible, guys. But we still got this. We can still tie our record. <laughs> That'd be cute. For the money. Time for the next round. Tim. Picking his first case of the night. 5,000, Tim. Yes. All right. Just a simple man. Welcome to the live vibe, brother. Your objective here is to pick a low case number, obviously. Don't pick the 750 or the half million. And you'll be vibing, dude. That's what we like oh, there we go. Just a simple man. Nice case, dude. Nice case. <laughs> Liz, I didn't, I'm barely seeing yours right now. All right, Liz, are you feeling frosty tonight, Liz? It's you. <laughs> All right, Liz, you did good. You did good. You've been on a down streak, but I think the last few cases you picked have been good, Liz. You're vibing, girl. <laughs> I picked tomorrow's case if I ever won all right with it. If everyone's, I am all right with it, K9. Tomorrow, you're picking the first case, dude. Outdoors, what's up, buddy? How you doing, dude? 14, here we go. Ah, oh, shit, Outdoors. 4, 14 is taken, dude. 14 is taken. <laughs> oh, Ninja Bear. Fire Nation. All right, but you know what Ninja Bear has to do, right? She is a female, so I respect all females. The only people I, I don't respect are, are people with peepees. And she's not going to have to kiss no one's pee, pee tonight. But I got to find Ninja Bear's highlight. She has to get out. You've been bailed out, Ninja Bear. You've been bailed out. By Robert. The beefcake. Hold on. Sorry, there's a lot of comments. Holy shit. Okay, Mother Effer. Why? Ah, oh, shit. 
with mother shit tits. That's it. Here we go. Ninja Bear, you just have to give a kiss to Millie. That's it. No mail for you. You just gotta kiss Millie. And now you're at the big table. All the females here on the live vibe get treated like queens. No disrespect to the to the guys out there. You gotta be stuck in the shit. But Ninja Bear trains her ass off. She's a badass mom. And she deserves all the greatness in her life. There you go, Ninja. You're partnering with us at the big table. Damn, twice. 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 Thank you for the super chat, Robert. We want her on on our side, bro. She's she's Fire Nation, dude. She's Fire Nation. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't see that. <laughs> I meant 13. Thank you for the super chat outdoors. I got you. Here's your 13, dude. Oh <laughs> This is a live vibe first. Send That's super chat gets sent to the Katie it. table. Outdoors, my brother. <laughs> Wait a minute. I paid you to get sent to the Katie table? <laughs> Outdoors. You know, just like in life, when you take something out, you gotta put something to replace it. As Ninja Bear the Badass leaves the Katie table, Outdoors takes the throat. All right, outdoors. Let me see my little blue book. <laughs> outdoors, this is your third. This is your third DQ for season three of Deal or No Deal, my friend. <laughs> it's okay, dude. I appreciate the super chat though, brother. I appreciate you. But somebody had to take the place of Ninja, dude. And we still got one more. One more person can still get disqualified. 64,000 is the offer. We're no not going to take that. Time for the next round. Matthew Acosta, welcome to the live vibe. Dude, is that, what's that photo of, man? Is that your aquarium? Is that your fish tank? What's that, dude? Welcome to live vibe. I love ocean life, dude. I don't like the ocean being in it. But I love fishes and shit, bro. Welcome to the live vibe. 11. First case ever, guys. Oh, and... I'll take that as a win. I'll take that as a win. Any case but 750, guys. Any case but 750. I mean, he paid two bucks for the $500,000 case. I think he wins, right? <laughs> it depends on how you view it. But Logan, I like that you're a very optimistic person. You're a, you're a glass um, half empty or half full person. But no. For deal or no deal, that's bad. That is bad. No outdoors. Why? <laughs> Chris Tips won. What's up, brother? Tyler Brunner. Brunner? What's up, Tyler? Is this your first live vibe, dude? How you doing, man? How you doing? Pick a case. We're playing deal or no deal, dude. Welcome to the live vibe. No, it was from when I took my kids to the aquarium. Awesome, dude. Awesome. It's beautiful, man. I love it. I see a shark though. I think it's a shark. I don't know. I just like sometimes when I'm just chilling, I'll go on YouTube and I'll put like those 4K, either like Wyoming or 4K scenery stuff. And they have like aquariums and ocean life and it's like super soothing, man. But hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Tim. 17, let's do this, dude. That's what we like to see. <laughs> I don't even, I just, I just saw that. Outdoors. Shit! Shit! <laughs> Derek, we got you, bro. Be careful with the redhead, Derek. Excellent. Oh, never mind. Dude, the redheads are on it tonight, dude. You know what, Logan? I don't think 19 has ever had the $1 million case, though. Well, you do have nine nice disqualifications. Offer. Have you ever picked the one million, Logan? I want to know, dude. I want to know. We do have a $98,000 no offer, deal. guys. That ain't bad, dude. That ain't bad. Come on! <laughs> Save winch ride. A bell outdoors, <laughs> right? A bell outdoors. <laughs> outdoors. 
Thank you for the super chat, Logan. Where's outdoors at? Where's the one that he says shit? Oh, he's a dude, bro. He's he he he's 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 gonna get it, dude. Where's outdoors? Not so lucky. Yeah, you're not so lucky. You're gonna have to do one pee pee kiss, bro. And you gotta kiss the shit bows. All right, dude. You're out. You're out. Some shit, dude. You're rocking. You're rocking, surrounded by beautiful women. All you can eat, all you can drink, all you can dip, dude. You're vibing. You're at the Bahala table, my friend. You owe Logan a pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> that freaking possum in your profile pic, dude. That's how I thought it is to you, Chris. I said that on point. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Hey, man, you've been bailed out. Here we go. Hell yeah, Logan. Love you, brother. Look at that. Honestly, a CD one? CD? I don't remember. I'm like Dory from Finding Nemo. <laughs> man. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me know if you guys are still vibing. We good now? <laughs> You're back. <laughs> you guys stay. Hey, am I good now, guys? It's one of those nights, dude, that I have... Oh... Fuck. All right. Well, we weren't winning anything there. I didn't know that got shut down, too. We are a go. Awesome. All right, guys. So, that just restarted. We good on with the live vibe one away. All right, we're back on. All right, so, screw that shit, dude. All right, for those who were not who were not here at the beginning of the uh, live vibe, if you had to choose one Copenhagen product for life, what would it be? For those who did not answer, let me know. We're gonna tally these these up. That sucks. We're done with deal or no deal. It was meant to be. It's meant to be. As long as we're here vibing, you guys are awesome. Jason, never gonna give you up. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jason. You're good, cuh. Aw, oh, thank you, Dark Hills. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, guys. So, if... Ah, uh, you guys might have all been here, though. Coat Black for Dark Hills. All right, Coat Black beats, beats the mint, dude. All right, so I would like to know... Let's get this music going. Um, let's do Would You Rather. Or actually, we can just do a question. If you guys have a question, any question, something similar to this, what would it be? Let's vibe it out, dude. We're just vibing now. And if you guys haven't done so yet, please like the video. Drop a like. And the top of every hour, it just seems like it crashes. Um, we are getting a storm. It's supposed to rain, like, in tomorrow. Starts to rain tomorrow, but I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with my internet. Oh, a couple of you guys. Yeah. King and outdoors. Just a simple man. Mint. Sorry I didn't add it. Those comments came in a little late. Sorry, guys. But Wintergreen won, dude. Wintergreen won for sure. Mint was back there. Straight did a surprisingly well, dude. Straight did pretty damn good.
you didn't get the Crown Vic, NC? You got the Police Interceptor Ford Explorer. You got the big boy. If you couldn't dip anymore, would you switch to Swedish Snooze? The thing is, Jason, I don't know very many people who have even had Snooze. This doesn't have to be dip related. Let's make this life related, Jason. Let's make this life related. Let's get away from the dip. We, we got a dip one, but obviously for sure. Yeah, I would switch to Sweden, Swedish Snooze. <laughs> Logan Wood. Let me see if I can think of a hold on. I got a question. We're going to start it off here. Let me write it down first, though. Forgive my grammar. Alright guys, think about this one. What's the weirdest food you've ever tried? For those people who like the exotic foods, what's the weirdest food you've ever tried? Ooh, I like that king. We're gonna do that one next, dude. We're going to do that one next, King. That's a good one. And see, I'm screening shotting that one. But here we go, guys. What's the weirdest food you ever had or you ever tried? For me, I haven't done anything. For me, honestly, to like it might be common for a lot of you guys, but Gator Bites... The fried gator strips is probably the weirdest food I've ever tried. I mean, I don't know if octopus is rare or weird. Oh, you have tried balut? That's crazy, Jason. Do you guys know what balut is? It's disgusting. Octopus CD? Yeah, that is kind of strange to eat octopus, especially with the tentacles and stuff. Reaper. What's up, Reaper? Kangaroo. I didn't know you can even eat kangaroo. Then again, Farquaad eats camels, right? So actually, let me just write some of these down. I'm gonna write down the live live answers here. It's not weird in Florida, I know. But it was weird for me because I ate it in Cali. Eel liver on a stick in Japan. No way, Dark Hills. That's dope you've been to Japan, dude. Eel liver. Let me know if I should Google any of these. Some of these are sound very interesting. Fish eyes, is that? Uh, yeah, meow meow. Bad kitty. Why would you eat fish eyes, bro? What is is there something that's like um nutritional about that? I mean how big is the fish, dude? Is it a big ass salmon?
alligator. Loved it. All right, that's gonna be me and you, NC. For me, it was just weird, bro. I never thought in a million years I'd be eating gator. But then again, I didn't know how how common it was. Mine would be bull testicles. Ooh, Rocky Mountain oysters. Never had those. I heard they're actually good. Um, this, I'm just gonna put boo. <laughs> Am I really gonna? Sp <laughs> bull testicles. The one chip, okay, that's a good one, simple man. The one chip challenge, hands down the hottest thing I've ever had. I've never tried that challenge. I wouldn't mind trying that challenge on the live vibe one night. One chip, chip. Wow, King, you ate a little monkey, dude. Probably the weirdest and hardest thing for me to eat. Hardest because you knew it was a monkey or was it like the meat hard? <laughs> but you said, and where were you, bro? India? Where'd you eat monkey at? Oh yeah, Jason, I definitely know that. Blue is a half developed duck embroil in the shell and is hard boiled, tastes like chicken liver mixed with egg yolk and it's crunchy. Uh, it's the bones here that, that, that you're crunching on, bro. Them duck bones, dude. The homies just dare you to eat the fish eyes. Camping shenanigans. Wow. Dude, the, what was this article that... Um, I saw it on Twitter. Some guy in, I believe, Australia. There was a slug. And it was one of these dares, right? Oh, dare me to eat the slug or whatever. He ate the slug. Eight days later, he's paralyzed. Was in a coma for like 120 something days. And he became paralyzed and then died eight years later. That slug had a certain parasite in it that just, yeah. But no dares meow meow. I, I hope you learned your lesson. You don't know what the hell kind of bacteria thing that's in something. No more dares, dude. Gator tongue, Jason? Jaden? Ew. But then again, you do have lengua tacos, but a gator? Ugh. Gator tongue. Dude, that is just... That's weird, dude. That's weird. That's just weird. Baltimore Century Egg. Goat eyeball straight from the cooked face still on the skull. Logan, what kind of tribe are you from, dude? Century egg. Baltimore century egg. I don't know who that is. Goat eyeball straight from the cooked face still on the screen. That's just... Damn, dude. That's some shit, Logan. I'm just going to put goat eyeball. <laughs> Freaking goat eyeball, dude. I made it up to me that I would never eat squirrel again. Good, NC. Good. The guy got tapeworms from the slug. All right, Jason. So you heard you heard that story? It was tapeworms? No, there was a bacteria, though, I think it was in. Okay. You were in Columbia, King. When you had the monkey. Let me put this one in. I got to put monkey. I didn't think they eat. I would think maybe they eat monkey in Cambodia, but not Colombia, not South America. Shane, what's up, Shane? What cat? Like, like a, like bobcat? Like a jack? Like, where do you eat cat from, dude? It's like saying I you've eaten dog. Where'd you eat cat, Shane? It was in an Asian country. What? They have kangaroo jerky? I've seen gator jerky. I've seen ostrich. I had ostrich jerky. But kangaroo. Well, we got kangaroo on there. I think I could eat that, though. I, I would try that. Ah, oh, interesting, dude. Interesting. Where are my screenshots at? All right, guys. We got a would you rather here. 
All right, thank you for we learned. See how much we learned about each other, and just this stupid ass thing. Dark Hills vibing in Japan. King in Colombia. Logan eating freaking goat eyeball off the damn skull. Blue octopus. Those are some. Those are some good ones, guys. I think mine is me and Jaden. The whole gators just. I guess it's not that rare, dude. It's not that rare. I was in Bahrain or Dubai for the goat eyeball. I can't remember. <laughs> Bahrain, Bahrain, or Dubai, dude. That's bitchy. You been to Dubai? Dubai looks like a dope place, but I heard it was built on slaves, though. <laughs> like literally. He ate a cat at a local Chinese restaurant. Yeah, probably, dude. Probably. Squirrel brains? Dude, why would you eat squirrel brains, bro? Ostrich, yeah? Okay, that makes sense, Shane. You're in East Asia. That makes perfectly good sense. <laughs> I've tried kangaroo when I was in Australia while I was in the army. Right on, dude. <laughs> I didn't know Australians eat king. I mean, I can assume the Aborigines ate that shit because they're probably abundant. But I didn't think that was a modern thing, dude. Interesting. All right, guys. We got a would you rather for him. If you guys got a would you rather, let me know. If this one's from King. Let me um, bring this graphic down. Be able to fly or breathe underwater. Give me a cool reason why. <laughs> I fed my cat deer brains. When cooked, they look and smell like scrambled eggs, but they're tan instead of yellow. Ugh. <laughs> Logan, Bahrain street food was rough and I would never forget it. I didn't trust the street food. I don't trust any street food in like like, I would love to visit India, but I would never. I think I would die. My stomach would explode. I love Indian food. Don't get me wrong, but, bro, that shit would. That street food, all the parasites, they're using their hands. They're not even clean. Jason says fly. All right, guys, so that's it for this outlaw pouch. What's next? I'll go to Cougar. I'll go to Cougar. Flying high in the sky. Well, you're green. You're already flying high in the sky, my friend. You're already flying high in the sky. We get to know who likes to be a bird or who likes to be a fishy fish, dude. I'm glad you find peace in the ocean, Logan. I'll be scared as hell, bro. Because down there, bro, you can't. Fender fight, bro. You can't fender fight in the ocean. Between a big fishy. Between a big fishy, Logan. I could be calm in a pool. <laughs> there won't be any sharks down there, but there might be some floating turds. Jada wants to be like Aquaman. <laughs> I want to fly and be like Superman. Because I never have to drive anywhere. I just have to have a really cool helmet for the bergs, the bergs, the bugs. I'll have a really cool astronaut helmet. It'll be like my riding Riders Republic game. I have a really cool spacesuit. Hell yeah, Jason. You got that blue? You got that blue? NC, you want to fly too, man? 
But then you won't be able to drive all your cars anymore, bro. You wouldn't you wouldn't need to. You save a lot of money on insurance though. <laughs> Dark Hills wants to swim with the fishes. Stillman wants to fly. We got more flyers out here. What's up, Iceman? How you doing, man? Would you rather be able to fly or breathe underwater, Iceman? Let us know. Reaper. Reaper's a flyer, dude. Fire Nation, dude. <laughs> I want to see if I can get deep on here, man. I want to get deep under that desk. I want to lean back. I want to vibe with you guys. I look shitty on camera. I've saved a bunch of money by switching to Geico. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just imagine if you could fly, though, man. You would never... I mean, it would suck if you can fly, but you can only go like five miles an hour. <laughs> then it's like, really, if you can fly, at least let me go above the speed of a car. I mean, even shoot, even if you could go 100 miles an hour, I mean, bro, you just, it's a straight shot. There's no stoplights, bro. You'll get anywhere. As long as you can't, like, run out of flying magic. <laughs> 15% or more. <laughs> Iceman would rather breathe underwater. You guys are fearless, man. You guys are fearless. I don't know why the ocean scares me, dude. I guess it's just the art or the art. It's not knowing, dude. It's not knowing what the hell's down there. Bro, we know more about space than we do underwater, bro. We know more about planets and other shit that's billions of miles away from us than we know about our deep oceans, bro. What does that say? How is that? Why is that? How is that possible? What's down there, bro? What's down there? Like aliens down there, dude? <coughs> Have a great night outdoors. Thank you for stopping by, brother. Yeah, me too. Then that's the thing, Iceman. I am so super fascinated with the ocean. I love ocean creatures. I love watching documentaries. But at the same time, I ain't going down there, dude. I just like learning about it. <laughs> Logan, I saved more because I only have one car. One is is all exactly. Need to be happy. Exactly, Dark Hills. Exactly, brother. Same, dude. Wyatt, what's up, Wyatt? How you doing, Wyatt? Dang, Wyatt, what'd you catch, bro? Is that a freaking Velociraptor? What the hell is that? Bro, you look so tiny behind that. What is that, a bull elk? I can't tell, dude, but holy crap, Wyatt. Is that you, dude? Let me know. Let me know, dude. But Wyatt wants to be able to fly. He'll be a hunter in the sky. That looks crazy, dude. That looks crazy. That's gotta be an elk? No, I don't know. It's too small for me to see. But Dark Hills, you can bundle up with home insurance. <laughs> Logan, if you ever wanted to try something new, I think you'll be a great uh, insurance agent, sales agent. And she switches to general. Jake from State Farm. Oh God, if I have to see another damn Jake from State War football commercial. <coughs> yes, sir. Bull elk. Why? It's beautiful, man. Nice catch, dude. King loves the ocean and wants to breathe underwater. Shit. King is Aquaman, dude. Shit. He's better than Aquaman. He's King Aqua. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one word. It's not two words. It's King Aqua. King Aqua! Hell yes, dude. Most definitely an elk. Bro, it was, why it had that was dope. 
uh, uh, khakis. <laughs> Good question, King. I like that one. If you guys have any other questions or would you rathers and you guys want to vibe, let them know. Yeah, Wyatt, send your animals my way, dude. Wyatt, check out Dark Hill's information down below, brother. He is the best at what he does, bro. I think it was NC that got one. Okay, here we go, guys. Being able to fly one. Barely. Again, the live vibe is always generally pretty damn even. Okay, NC. I'm from California. I think California is a beautiful state. But because of their politics, well, not like North Carolina's switching the other way too right now, but I'm going to go with NC just because I'm a single man and why not experience in different environments and states? I'm going to move to North Carolina, dudes. Where would you move to? North Carolina here is beautiful, man. I heard it's freaking beautiful in North Carolina. Oh, never mind. Aqua King? That sounds too clean, bro. King Aqua, bro. <laughs> King Aqua. <laughs> Aqua King. That sounds so badass, though. Aqua King. Aqua King's way better than Aquaman. But King Aqua sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Alrighty now. I'm Audi. Love y'all. And remember, do good, don't die. As long as you don't die, that's good enough. Words of wisdom from outdoors. Thank you, brother. Vibe out, brother. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow, dude. I hope you stop by tomorrow. Live, lived in them both. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, Dark Hills, what did you not like about... I know what you didn't like about California, but what did you not like about North Carolina? What, what was wrong with it? I heard their barbecue is great, dude. Alrighty, Stillman. We got Stillman down for Cali. <laughs> Go to the general, save some time. <laughs> How do I know all these jingles, bro? So Green says NC. Farquaad says NC. That's three to one right now. Jaden says NC. Wyatt says NC. Five for NC. Blue Ridge Mountain CD1. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that maybe that's in North Carolina. Too humid. And way too many people. In California, way, way, way too many people. <laughs> Dark Hills just doesn't like people. <laughs> he likes to breathe. All right. It can't be as humid as Florida, though, bro. But um, I get it. I get it. California just way, way too many people. <laughs> but the food's the best. Jason, NC has gem grade garnets. <laughs> Hell yes, NC. I got your NC, dude. All right, Jason. That was good. Ooh. That's King. King Aqua. That's if there's actually, like, aliens that we can talk to, though, bro. But I'm going to... I screenshot at that. Are you, NC? Hell no. I would rather pick Tennessee over North Carolina. I've never been to North Carolina, but Tennessee is beautiful. The Smoky Mountains, bro. When I went to that Dippers Retreat, I fell in love, dude. I fell in love with Gatlinburg. 
they got a lot of grizzly bears up there. Tennessee is popping, dude. Popping. Maybe not Memphis because it's too populated, but Gatlinburg area, Knoxville is growing too. But I love Tennessee, dude. And see, it's just as humid as Indiana, Farquhar said. Oh, the humidity is rough, black. <laughs> There's kind of barbecue sucks. It's just bitter. <laughs> You gotta move your ass down there and show them how to cook some real barbecue, Logan. You gotta go to the East Coast, bro. <laughs> it sucks, dude. Just vinegar. That's where my baby girl girlfriend lives. Nice. There he goes. Now you have, oh, you have a good reason to move there. Reaper says NC. Cali, because I love the West Coast. The West Coast is beautiful, man. That coastline, dude. Yeah, definitely Northern Cali, dude. For sure. Not South, dude. Mm -mm. I'd hate paying for it, but Cali. So I can visit Robert. Oh! <laughs> I have family in Cali, so I can go anytime. <laughs> but yes. I'd probably end up in prison if I moved to California. <laughs> yeah. Most of your pew pews are not going to be good there, dude. Rural California. NC is dang human. Another Cali. Mustard based barbecue is the best? Really? No, man. I like barbecue, barbecue. Tennessee is beautiful, Reaper. Nothing near Indiana, meow. Boone is pretty cool, meow, meow says. Texas barbecue is the best. I did have some Texas barbecue in Texas. It was good. But I had to be honest with you guys, I had some really good barbecue here in Florida. And see, the mind virus over there in Cali would drive me insane. I get that. Just a simple man wants to live a simple life in North Carolina. He won't be living a simple life in Cali. If you end up doing moving to Cal Nash Tennessee, Chris, don't stay in Nashville. What's going on in Nashville? Is it becoming pretty bad right now? You can always just visit. You're going to have to visit. You're going to have to visit them. All right. I'm surprised how many people want to move to Cali. Cali, I mean, I've been to I've been to a lot of states, dude. California's beautiful, man. Geographical is just the best, dude. Mountains, desert, ocean, everything. The redwoods in Northern Cali, dude. Beautiful, beautiful. It's just the taxes there are ridiculous, man. All right, that was a good one. All right, guys, this one's going to be weird. Let's just say that aliens do exist and they are amongst us. Not those kind of aliens. We're talking about intergalactic aliens. Speak to animals or aliens. You go purple. Meow meow. Outside of California, so are you in Nevada, Oregon, or Arizona? Jason. California is one state I avoid, but we'll probably have to go down soon. As my grandma isn't doing too good. Oh, that sucks, Jason. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I'm sorry to hear that, Jason. 
All right, guys, right now we're asking the question, would you rather speak to animals or aliens? This is where we're at with the Live Vibe 101. If you guys are just joining us and haven't done so yet, please do me a favor and like the video. Let's get the likes up. This is the fourth time I think I restarted the Live Vibe, so I lost a lot of people. But for those who are sticking around, staying, vibing and chilling and packing fatties, I love you all. This is my favorite part of the Live Vibe, where we just vibe, dude. This is where the real vibing happens, bros. Nevada. Cool, man. I love Nevada. I wouldn't mind moving Nevada, dude. The winters are cold. Summers are really hot, but I wouldn't mind. Animals, Jason says. I'd rather not speak to demonic entities. <laughs> It'll be pretty damn cool to speak to animals, man. Imagine you get to speak to your dog. Like what, dude? But then your dog can speak to you and he's like, motherfucker, I've been eating the same food every day, bro. I see you eating that pizza. You don't need to eat that pizza. I see you eating those burgers. You don't need those burgers, you little son of a bitch. Give me some real food. You feed me the same as, and water, really? You got your freaking Mountain Dews, bro? You give me water? <laughs> or you can speak to Millie, the squirrel nuggy, dude. You can talk to Millie. What would, what, would, what would Millie say? Bro, Jason, your grandmother's 99 years old, bro. That's a long, beautiful life, my friend. That's a long, beautiful life, man. I don't think I would want to live that long, to be honest with you, man. I love life, but it all depends how my health is at 99 years old. But I don't know if I want to live to be that old. I think once someone has to change my diapers, bro, I think... It's time to move on. But there's people who live to like 105, 109, bro. They're freaking good. They're walking still. There's a lot of Asians. Asians live very long. They have a simple diet. And they walk everywhere. That's the thing. As soon as you stop being active, that's when everything goes downhill. Animals for Jaden. He wants to speak to his doggos. I'm pretty sure if a lot, of, if you guys are dog owners, you're gonna say speak to animals. Assuming aliens exist, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. But um, I don't know, bro. I think I love animals too much. It'd be dope to talk to aliens. It'd be like, bro, give me some of that DNA. Like, give me. Give me your own spaceship, bro. Let me navigate this spaceship. Let me just vibe out with you guys, bro. What kind of weed you guys got, dude? You know? But if aliens are visiting us, they're going to know how to speak our language. I'm going to say speak to animals. There's more animals than anything. I want to talk to a butterfly when I'm out meditating. Hey, little butterfly. I'm not afraid of you. Then I wouldn't mind going to the ocean, bro. I'd be like, bro, shark, you great white little son of a bitch. I'm cool with you, bro. You can hear me. I'm not. I'm just vibing, bro. I know this is your territory. I ain't gonna eat none of your shit. You're cool, bro. Animals way better. Paul the alien? Yeah, sure. Paul the alien. You can talk to Paul. Animals, Reaper says. Speak to a cow like the aliens did in South Park. I'm getting down for animals, bro. <laughs> animals for me, King. It's because I want to talk to great white sharks and ask them how they feel about orcas picking up. <laughs> bro. Do you know how orcas get them, bro? They just go from under, bro. They nose butt them or they'll freaking tail whip them. Do when an orca like tail whips a freaking seal, bro. Seals are like 500 pounds. I mean, I don't know what's the average seal weight, dude. But, bro, they're launching these seals, and it looks like they're playing with them, bro. Boop. Boop. Fucking playing Pong and shit with the seal. <laughs> but I love your answer. Ask them how they feel about orcas picking on them. You only got to watch out for them. You only got one. Animals. 
Hey, great white, you little shit. <laughs> you know that that great white's like freaking 10 feet long and shit. 20 footer. And I'm here at freaking 5 foot 7. <laughs> Wearing extremely large goggles because I have to wear these glasses so I can see under there. <laughs> Fogged up fucking glasses. <laughs> hey, little octopi. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh that's too funny dude <coughs> while we're finishing up this one guys if you guys have any <laughs> would you rathers let me know I screenshot moved to Cali okay, me to put that in the trash can let me see what the screenshots I got we're doing this one right now Got that one. Oh, so that was Trent from the last one. That's this old screenshot. Animals, meow meow. You got a mini? What the hell? Oh, Chihuahua. You would want to talk to mini Chihuahua? Animals, try to convince my cat to stop being a little jerk. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's picking freaking. All right. Oh, this is a good one. I got the next question here. Stan, Stan, it's me. I'm a butterfly, bro. Is wasn't that episode hilarious? That South Park episode. Ooh, I like that one, King. We'll do that one after mine. I like that one. All right, here we go, guys. If you can fish slap one person, who would it be? Any person in the world. Grab the smallest or biggest, whatever size fish you can swing. If you can fish slap one person, who would it be? My Belgian Malonese is a little jerk. <laughs> Reaper. Our diet version of coon hounds. Later, Jason. NC, you just got engaged last week and you're already going to get married? What's the rush, NC? What's the rush, bro? You're afraid that she's going to say no? She's going to have cold feet, dude. <laughs> That's a good one. But there's other politicians. <laughs> we man. <laughs> That's mine. That's how you spell it. Nancy Pelosi. Is I spell Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> I fished up my brother with a walleye when we worked at a restaurant together. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a tick mark for POTUS. 
That's two. <laughs> Come on. Think of someone that deserves a big, hard, freaking fish. This picture, screw the fish. If you could punch someone, who would it be? Oh, that's a good one, Reaper. Reaper, are you in uh, Cali? He was horrible. Really? Bam Margera? Poor guy, bro. That guy's been through enough, dude. He just recently broke his freaking... I think he tore his ACL again or MCL skateboarding. That dude needs therapy, dude. I feel bad for him, man. <laughs> Notice how I'm not spelling out the names all the way, just in case for the live. <laughs> <laughs> yep, King. Right on, Iceman. I'll, I'll follow you back later, brother. Is your name Iceman on Insta? Because if I don't know who you are, I won't follow you. Let me know your, your name or whatever your tag is. Cackling Camelt. I don't know who that is. You know who. I think he means this person. Portisi. Jake from State Farm. <laughs> all right guys we got one more we're gonna end the live vibe on the three hour mark tonight we got 12 minutes 13 minutes i can actually get some sleep tonight but tomorrow we're gonna go long tomorrow it's friday friday's a good night yeah we got you still man <laughs> We all think alike. That's weird. We're usually pretty uh, spread out. David Harbour. Who's David Harbour? Is that the sheriff from Stranger Things? If so, why would you want to smack him, bro? All right. Let's put live. Last one other night, would you rather live in the Harry Potter universe or Star Wars? So Harry Potter, you got dragons and shit, mythical creatures, but in Star Wars, you also do, you also have dragons and monsters and aliens everywhere. But I'm a freaking Jedi, dude, so I'm doing Star Wars. But then again, Harry Potter is only mythical for the magicians, for the people who know magic. Their world is completely different, right? Because you got to go through like this weird teleporter platform bullshit. How was he, dude? How was he? 
Was he cool? Was he an ass? Some people are, you know, again, these celebrities, people think that they should all be nice, but bro, imagine you're just uh, at the grocery store and someone just freaking rushes you. Hey, 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 what's this? What's that? Like, oh, can I take a picture? Like, people have bad days, dude. And I totally get it. But when you're a celebrity, you should know how to act, though. Like, so I say Star Wars. Logan says Star Wars as well. Star Wars for Jaden. Star Wars for Stillman. <laughs> All right, Logan. Stop making fun of me, bro. I'm tired, bro. I'm still hungover. <laughs> Get gone. Dark Hill says Star Wars. Stillman says Star Wars. No Harry Potters, huh? We're just a bunch of freaking Jedis, dude. We're just a bunch of Jedis. I fixed it, Logan. Stop giving me shit, dude. <laughs> uh, Harry Potter's dope, dude. I love Harry Potter. Well, the last films. The first couple were, were they're good, but they're really meant for children. Like little, like five year olds. Meow, meow. I don't doubt you, bro. Your midichlorian count is probably extremely high, dude. You're a badass, bro. You're gonna be the next chosen one, meow, meow. But if your midichlorian count is so high, why in the F do you keep getting sent to the kitty table, my friend? Your force isn't as strong as you. You gotta work on that, bro. You gotta use the force when you pick the first case. Other than that, yeah. Star Wars, because even if I don't have the force, I can hand solo that shit. You are a hand solo, bro. You are a hand solo king. You are solo king. <laughs> hand king. <laughs> king Aqua. <laughs> I wouldn't belong to the Sith. Or Jewish or Jewish order. <laughs> you said Jewish instead of Jedi. I'll be a part of the the gray Jedi. <laughs> I know. That's the universe, bro. That's the universe. You made fun of me, bro. That's called karma. And the universe has served you some platter, man. It served you a platter. <laughs> you guys, it was a weird one tonight, man. I really don't understand what's going on with the internet. Although, when I do get on at 9, it's like everyone's streaming around me, right? But I got... I got hella fast internet, dude. I'm gonna have to give him a call this weekend. It is a pain in the butt. It just sucks. Every time it fails, people are out. They're going to another live stream. They're, they go do their thing and, but it happens, right? You gotta roll with the punches, be like water. But tonight's live vibe was chill, man. No, you're not. You're not. That was an honest mistake, dude. You should skateboard with Bamajera. He is an asshole in person. Well, you gotta understand, dude. He's probably on some medication that, you know, you know. And <laughs> no, no, you're good. Is it buffering right now? Star Wars for NC. Buffering? All right. That's a good, we're branding it, guys. Can you guys still hear me?
Let me know if you guys can still hear me. Check, check, one, two, here we go. No, you're good? All right. Well, again, I was just talking about it. I don't know what the hell is going on, man. I don't know what's going on with the internet. It sucks. I hope it fixes itself out. If I have time tomorrow, I'm going to call my internet provider, see what I can do, maybe an upgrade. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right. All right, guys. Well, that is it for Live Vibe 101. I love you all. Hope you guys have a great time. I, am, I apologize for the buffering issues. It's out of my control. It's out of my control. It's not my computer. It's my actual internet. It's my actual internet. And um, it's been screwing up with me all freaking night. This is just a lesson. One of those things. As I'm live vibing five days a week, it's bound to happen. But I'm going to try to figure it out. See what's going on. Um, other than that, I love you all. I hope you guys have a great night. I appreciate all the super chats tonight. Enjoy your Thursday night. If you guys don't know, I uploaded a review. Check it out at the Outlaw Dipco channel. We got the Ramblin' Root Beer. But other than that, guys, I love you. Have a great night. And we'll catch you tomorrow. Friday. We're going to go late tomorrow. All right, guys. I love you. Peace. <laughs>